This is a photo of Peter Pavlensky, a famous Russian performance artist that was just arrested in Moscow over his latest political piece, Threat, where he went to Lubyanka Square, where the former headquarters of the KGB are, and he decided to set the doors of the entrance on fire, Margaret. And this, to highlight the fact or the idea that the old days, the dark days of Lubyanka and the KGB are still tied to the current regime of Putin, one of the targets of most of his work. Well, they, the KGB has been rebranded to be the FSB now, but they're they're very op operational. You know, this political activism, he has a history of these types of demonstrations. I know you're going to get into them, but this is a pretty gutsy move, setting the doors of the FSB on fire. I'm surprised that this activist hasn't been destroyed as of yet, or at least in prison. I mean, the fact that he's free to do these demonstrations. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering about the motivation behind that. Well, he's, uh, he comes from a long academic background of an artist. He went to the most important schools of art in Russia. But at the same time, like you said, he's been able to navigate the legal consequences fairly well because in this case, he's only charged with petty hooliganism. Mm -hmm. Basically, 15 days in jail, he's going to be able to come back. In the past, he's been arrested also. He has some other very incendiary art pieces. And the first one is the time that Pussy Riot, this group that got arrested and put behind doors, he went and saw his lips on this piece called Seam, where he will protest the lack of free speech. Right. Well, the Russian feminist punk rock group Pussy Riot, they were, they were targeted and punished pretty heavily for yeah. their activism. So it's surprising that he could set the doors of Russian security service on fire and only be charged with hooliganism. And yet, uh, punk rock group that are feministic and outspoken, they're, they're slapped pretty heavily. Exactly. That's, that's, that's an interesting disparity. It is, it is. His case is very peculiar because of that. Then, in 2013, he did the most extreme of his pieces, and that was when he decided that he will nail his square room to the Red Square in Russia. And it was surrounded by tourists, and he did it, and the cops came, and they said, like, you have to move, and they're like, oh, you can't move. And that, his motivation in that piece was to show the political disdain and the political apathy in the community and trying to wake up people. And the other artists and the critique were like, this is a desperate act. This is the art, uh, you know, the, the same thing as setting yourself in fire because you're so desperate for making a point that you have to go to that extent. My, my first response in seeing this piece, um, I've done numerous reports on Moscow's Red Square live. You're freezing your ass off. So he's naked yeah. on the stone with his scrotum nailed to the stone, in between the stone. I can only imagine the pain that man, that young man must have been in to do something like that. You know, political activism like this, I don't know if you would express it as a form of art, or how, how is he expressing this? Or do we even know? Does he have a statement regarding Yeah, this? he always come forward with the statements that go along his pieces. And in that case was, I need the Russian people to wake up to the reality of the regime and start to getting involved in the nuances of government and what is really going on instead of just going along with the chauvinism of the government and say, yes, yes, whatever the government does, is the, that's what we want. Mm -hmm. And he's trying to put that. That other piece that we have is Carcass, where he wrapped himself around barbed wire uh, just to make the point, again, of how trapped we are by the laws that get imposed on us to keep us from talking. So he was... The, the whole metaphor of that is he had this barbed wire that was kind of a cocoon around him, but at the moment that the cops came and freed, freed him from that, another swarm, another barbed wire came upon of cops and ambulances and the system taking him into jail. Oh, so see. that was his point. And, you know, it's, it's refreshing to see that in a country that is so intense to express your views, he's willing to go the distance, he's willing to go get arrested, <laughs> And like you, like you say, it, how long is this is going to be able to go before he faces real consequences from the government? I don't know. I'm, I'm surprised that it's taken this long, frankly, listening to this story. Well, this is the story of Peter Pavlensky. Check out his work. And if you like, leave a comment below. If you haven't, please subscribe to The Leap TV.